Today, I'm going to be introducing myself and the Butterflies Project. Hi, I'm Chrisandra. I'm the person behind the Butterflies Project. The Butterflies Project currently is me with a blog and some videos sharing my experiences through my healing journey while living with anxiety and depression. The dream is to spread hope to others who live in dark places like I've been in and let them know that things will get better and I know they'll get better because they got better for me. Every Sunday I will release a blog post and a video correlating around a specific topic. For example, next week's topic is going to be the one thing that you need to learn in order to be successful on your healing journey. The blog post will have an in-depth view of that week's topic and the videos will have quick tidbits and tips and steps that you can take in order to take that knowledge into action. On Mondays, I will post a homework assignment on my Facebook page. The reason why I'm doing homework assignments on top of videos and blog posts is because I was once told that you get as much as you put into something. And you can watch all of the videos, you can read all the blog posts, but if you don't put it into action in some sort of way, then you're not going to get the benefit from it that I know you can. So each homework assignment is designed to help you take that first step in implementing the knowledge that you learn from the blog posts and the videos. There is also a private Facebook group. It's called the Butterflies Project Support Group. And in there, you can share your experiences, your homework assignments, or just be a general support group for others that are going through dark times. So a little bit about me. First and foremost, I am an introvert. So the fact that I am sitting here recording these videos and starting this whole project is kind of a miracle. For example, last year, 2019, I made a New Year's resolution to be more social because I suffer from severe social anxiety. And I would purposely put myself into situations, safe situations, but ones that would still make my anxiety scream in my head, but just make sure that I was there in a safe place and just push myself a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit every day so that I could expand how comfortable I was in different social situations. And that was the beginning of last year. Come to the beginning of this year, 2020, I am now recording videos and putting myself out there to help others who suffer from the same depression and anxiety that I do. If I would have told myself at the beginning of January of last year that this is what I would be doing around the same time next year, I would not have believed it. So that completely blows my mind how far I've come in such a short time just by implementing the different strategies and different tips that I'll give you throughout the videos coming up. My number one priority in my life is my family. I have the most amazing husband who is 100% supportive of almost everything that I do. I would say pretty much everything that I do and he is my number one cheerleader and I don't think I could have gotten through a lot of my life without him. I also have two fur babies. I have a five-year-old beagle named Xander and I have a one-year-old cat named Aria. Not sure exactly what breed she is because she was a stray. I would say the most surprising fact about me is that I am an entrepreneur. And the reason why I say that's the most surprising fact is because at one point in my life, my days were so dark that it was hard to just get out of bed and go to work and have somebody tell me what I was supposed to do that day, let alone running a business where I am literally doing 100% of everything. I do the marketing, the customer service, the actual service giving because I own a cleaning service. I do all of the cleaning myself right now. The dream is to be able to grow it so that I can just run the business instead of having to work on the business, but we'll get into that a little later maybe. Um, I also have a second business that is completely different from the cleaning service. I create, design, and hand make purses and accessories. 
that's slowly going right now and I'm working on building that but again I do 100% of everything so with dealing with anxiety and depression some days I have to really force myself to get up and do everything that I need to do in my businesses to keep them going and I couldn't have done this without doing a lot of healing and a lot of growing there are still days where my depression symptoms can get to me and I and I just have to push through but now I have the ability to push through and I just want to give a, a quick disclaimer right right now that I am not a licensed therapist I have no formal training my knowledge comes from my own life experiences and the trials and errors that I've gone through in my healing journey and figuring out figuring out what works for me so that's a little bit about me I can't wait to get to know you in the Facebook group and always remember that you are not alone and I appreciate you. I'll see you next week.